first time I, I, I heard the Pixies would have been around 1988. You have to remember at that point, the charts, especially in America, were dominated by all these metal bands like Warren. You know, their, their bands were being made up by a r men every day of the week. It was a time when, you know, when bands like Pop Will Eat Itself and the Mighty Lemon Drops were kind of were holding sway in this country, really. It was completely new for me. That was why it was so exciting. Which is no bad thing, but with the Pixies, I can't, I struggle to find a comparison. Whatever, and it's just really friendly and really chilled out and really happy and everybody feels like they've totally got something out of their system. Kinetic energy where they go from a really loud screaming chorus to a quiet verse, that, uh, that was invented. <laughs> There were these big, like, sort of locker room, bath-sized bathrooms. And we recorded some of the guitar amplifiers in there because it had a very big reverberant sound. As vampires. Gary made a demo of sort of, I uh, went over to his apartment one evening and brought my guitar and uh, we ran through all the songs. Just... They're flailing around, ever too shouty. Raya hit the crapper. In your face. But not quite the wit. Really dark. But I don't get that at all. Screaming flesh. Any song in any genre and, and just make it. In this land of strangers. In England and Europe you had a much more active press which was often driving. And we thought that was so awesome we've got to go again. The first like, a full on hardcore set of pixies. <laughs> I felt pretty proud when uh, one of the musicians in the Sun Ra Orchestra emailed the show. Uh, Boy, he said, you sure can holler. And I was like, yeah.